it was 15 years ago this week uh, that Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans and the Gulf Coast. We all remember that. Now Louisiana once again is bracing for not just one, but possibly two hurricanes. First up, Marco, which strengthened from a tropical storm to a Category 1 hurricane today. Then there's Laura, also expected to strengthen to a hurricane before making landfall along the Gulf Coast later in the week. Our meteorologist, Tom Sater, is joining us from the CNN Weather Center. Uh, Tom, what's the latest on these two storms? Well, a lot has changed, Wolf, since the 5 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Let me explain what we were expecting a few hours ago compared to the newest advisory. Marco, as you mentioned, a Category 1, was expected to make landfall tomorrow afternoon in the Paris of Louisiana as a Category 1 hurricane. Followed by 48 hours later, Laura, which is a tropical storm, to get up to maybe a, a strong Category 2 hurricane. This is still going to be the case with Laura, but things have changed now with Marco. We do believe. We're running into an area, an environment with shear. Winds come across these systems. They want to break them down. If Marco can contain its status as a Category 1, landfall is still expected up in Louisiana tomorrow afternoon, late tomorrow afternoon. But getting into this dry air now, it seems that Marco, and the models are showing it, wants to fade away somewhat, lose strength, and then stay offshore possibly, drifting westward. It could even fizzle out possibly. We're still going to see our warnings in red, our hurricane warnings. There's evacuation orders for Plaquemines Parish, Grand Isle. Warnings have been issued now more westward. This is all for Marco. We're still going to see four to six in storm surge, just like Issa Eas three weeks ago on the East Coast. But again, if it starts to lose strength, it's still going to add some rainfall to this area. And then Laura moves in on the Texas-Louisiana border. Laura has been devastating parts of Dominican Republic. The video coming out of the flash flooding and the homes destroyed is amazing. Over a half million without power, water rescues in Port-au-Prince. Looks like Laura may stay away from the mountains of Cuba, stay in the warm water. Therefore, it remains quite strong. Warnings are in effect, but as it makes its way across the warmer waters, Wolf, it could reach strong Category 2. Is it possible it could become a major hurricane, Category 3? Yes. Quickly for you, the paths intersect somewhat. New Orleans is no longer in the cone of uncertainty as rain stays mainly to the south offshore. Houston is in both cones. Lafayette, Louisiana, St. Charles as well. Again, still looking at late Wednesday for LAR, but let's cross our fingers and hope that Marco stays just offshore and starts to lose its strength, because this is going to be devastating back to back. Not many had this on their 2020 bingo card this year. Yeah, and, and it's amazing exactly 15 years after Katrina did the enormous damage that it, it did do. Uh, I'm going to stay in very close touch, right. Tom, with you. Thank you very much, Tom Sater, uh, giving us the latest forecast as we're learning new details right now about